Okay, this week we are going to learn about Camtasia and it is a software product that is made by a company called TechSmith. And this is the tool that I would like you to download as a trial and use this to create your videos and upload them as part of your final project. Now the upload is going to go out to YouTube and I will do a follow-up video on a little sample lesson and what I would like it to look at. Keep in mind that um, if for any reason this software does not run on your local computer and you have something uh, that can create something similar, um, just let me know so I can either try to troubleshoot with you or uh, give you the go ahead to use something different. If you're not familiar with this company, TechSmith, it is something worthy of checking out and uh, certainly keeping an eye on. They make uh, a couple of different products that are really cool. And the product that we're going to look at is the Camtasia Studio. But note that there's also Camtasia Mac, which is obviously for our Mac friends. And then there's a piece called Jing, J-I-N-G. And that is a free download. You can actually download and install that. And it will do many things similar to Camtasia Studio in terms of the screen recording. It does have a time limitation as to how long your videos can be. And it does not bring you into the studio element where you can actually manage and edit your uh, post videos. So um, just know that that's free. It's available. But of course, if you want to go the full-blown route, you'd want to go to Camtasia Studio. So moving forward, what I want to show you is this week I'm going to be posting this little video. Um, but I'm also going to be posting a link to TechSmith's YouTube channel where they have great numbers of um, really advanced topics in terms of their own video products. So this is going to be a great place for you to come and get resources during your uh, preparation for your final. So for example, if you were on the Camtasia for Mac, you might want to look at that. If you're on the Camtasia Studio 7 for Windows, you would want to go into their training screencasts. And there are a lot of things here that I'm not going to require you to do. But if you want to go above and beyond and do them, like captions and callouts, uh, you may certainly do that if you would like. But note that it is not a requirement of your um, final. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And even quite frankly, before I get to that, I want to show you something that I stumbled across in preparation for this. Let me just go ahead and close TechSmith altogether. Um, if you haven't already taken a look at Quickie, Quickie is a great resource. Let me actually show you the real site here. Um, it is one of the things that we have on our list of of web locations as really cool things. It's a really cool thing in terms of being able to search for um, different topics and it comes back with instead of just a straightforward you know dictionary entry or a Marlboro College of New Jersey um, is a public liberal arts and professional studies really institution of the New Jersey system of higher education multimedia version it was named a 2011 to 2012 a, a best value public college by Kiplinger's personal finance so a 300 in, acre in campus at 505 Marlboro Valley so Road Mala, New Jersey well, one mile from the intersection of for this lesson I came across this piece where it is the quickie creator alpha and if you take a look in here, some of these pieces look as if they have great potential. And I signed up for it myself, but haven't gotten uh, a sign in for the product yet. If you fill in your email address here, they'll send you a note saying that, you know, you're kind of on the list waiting. And it is an alpha stage, right? So I'm sure it's very buggy. But this is something you should keep an eye on because if it's going to allow you to create the quickie material as they present currently, it's definitely worth checking out at a later point. Okay, so moving forward, right now I'm recording this screen and the way I did that is I went ahead and set up Camtasia Studio and unfortunately I can't directly show you my uh, Camtasia Studio interface without moving a few things around, so let me go ahead and do that too. Um, this is the actual interface. So when you first start up Camtasia Studio, you're going to get um, a quad area, four buttons that say, do you want to record the, the screen? Do you want to record PowerPoint? 
Do you want to record uh, or import other videos, that kind of thing. And it's going to look a lot like this over here. And then to get started, you're simply going to either click on the button that says record screen off of that main menu. Or if I've gotten past that, I can also go over here to click and record the screen. So this is the editor itself. Okay. And this piece is a uh, portion that will come up on the side and what it looks like when it's not recording is it gives you a couple of places to test your audio and um, it also gives you a big super uh, big red record button and once you press that it's going to say to you um, that you'll start a countdown of recording in you know like three two one it will also give you a little prompt of F10 to stop the recording when you're ready and then when you're ready to stop the recording what it does is it brings it up into a preview window where you can either save it and move it right in here to Camtasia Studio or you can delete it now in order to um, do this particular piece I'm gonna go ahead and open a project that I have already done here so that you get a sense of what that look like looks like right um, it does ask that you set up presets in terms of how big the dimensions are going to be on your video and I typically will go to 1280 by 720 if you want a screen that is square the 4 by 3 ratio you would just use this first one if you wanted a an HD screen uh, that would be a widescreen 16 by 9 ratio then uh, go to 1280 by 720 and this is usually the one that I use and click OK. Now what will happen here are a couple of things is as I go through Camtasia is smart enough to figure out where to put different things in my video so I've got a bunch of little editing uh, points here where it has zoomed in for me on the screen as I'm moving through this particular line here is my zoom line this line right here is my film or my video edit portion and then down below here is my audio portion so what I could uh, do is I could edit the audio I could change around my zoom ins outs I could set up these little call outs on different portions where I would want to deal with that I could be very specific in terms of my zoom ins and outs. Um, I could um, work on the audio if in fact it wasn't to my liking. I can even do transitions between different video clips should I have multiple video clips on here. So there are all sorts of things that I could do and I've even popped up here in terms of you know picture in picture, recording the camera, um, a variety of different things including title clips. So I'm not going to go too much further on this. What I want you to do is I want you to download the product. It is a time trial, so do not download and install it until you are ready to actually start recording. And as many of the samples I've given you this semester, most of what I use this for is to do a screen recording on my computer. Um, now, if you happen to have a production or a video piece that you're going to record another person or you're going to record something else happening you can always bring that video in here to Camtasia and you could import the media um, and then you can go ahead and bring it in and edit it just the same as if Camtasia had actually recorded it itself but I'm going to strongly encourage you to go out and look at TechSmith's YouTube videos they have a lot of really uh, good introduction pieces there to get you started and beyond that refer to this video and then beyond that certainly feel free to poke around in terms of YouTube I came across a ton of different good videos on it keep in mind for your final project I'm not looking for world-class video here I'm looking for something that you can get in create the video do the things you need and then support that video within your lesson so my next video is going to be a short one on how I might get started with the final project and um, I will talk to you soon bye